Nikki was formerly known as Nigel and she's here today to talk about her hopes to complete a sex change that will forever alter her and her family's life. Thank you very much for coming in today, Nikki. Thank you. Fabulous name, by the way. I know. Um, now, before we talk about where you're actually up to with everything, let's start by going back and talking about your life before you started taking female hormones because you were married for 25 years, weren't yes. you, and you've had children. Yes. Uh, it all started when about seven, eight... Uh, and the feelings of wanting to wear a girl's clothes and can't understand why you want to wear a girl's clothes mm. but the feelings were there and never could understand them uh, it continued then up till I was about 16 uh, obviously I had a sister so I was able to wear girl's clothes uh, from then on in my sister got married so it left the fact that there wasn't any clothes to wear in the house and it was only once I got married in 1984 to Michelle that uh, the availability of female clothing was there again and after a year or so of being married it reappeared again you know and the feelings were stronger and they were getting stronger each time uh, we had uh, a young uh, we had our first child uh, in 1985 and we had a second one in 1986 and I thought I've got to start this you know and you go into a pattern where you do it for so many times and you stop and it, it decreased the feelings. Did your wife know about it at this point or was it something that you kept very secret even from her? It was kept secret from her up until about the fifth year of our marriage, the fourth, fifth year of our marriage, when one night she'd been out with her mum and I was got dressed and I was waiting for her to see basically what her reactions would be. Mm. And uh, she didn't say anything on the day. Uh, you know, I went up, got changed, put my old male clothes back on and a couple of days later, the feeling was there. I thought, oh, I've got to tell her. Yeah. And that's what I did. You know, and then so thinking back to that day then, how did it feel? Did you feel relief that you'd, you'd gotten rid of this secret that you'd carried for such a long time? Yeah. Or yeah. you it must was, have felt so it terribly was a relief. confused. It was confused. It was a mixture of all sorts of feelings because you don't want to lose this person that you love so much. But at the end of the day, you've got these feelings that are not going to go away and that just totally drive you insane at times. And once... You know, I told her she was quiet for a few days and I know she'd been to go and see her dad and obviously, you know, they were amused with what was going on and obviously at that point in time, you know, I said, well, stop it, I'll stop it, you know, because I didn't want to lose her because you're so frightened of yeah. doing so, you're so tearful that, you know, you don't want to lose this person and you also... You, you, you're thinking, well, what's going to happen to my children? Yeah. You know, so you, you're fighting, you're saying, I'm going to stop it, and you hope that the feelings will go away. Well, but they didn't some... go away, no, did they? they? Didn't, well, no. whiz forward a little bit, because there's, there's such a lot we could cover yeah. here, but unfortunately your marriage has since broken down, yes, hasn't it? Does, it? Yeah. Um, I know that there's been mixed feelings for various members of your family. Mm. Some have been very supportive, some have found it difficult to yeah, come to terms yeah. with. Um, you started taking female hormones nearly four years ago, yes, didn't you? So yeah. you've, you've grown breasts, your yeah. body has, has got undergone a, an amazing Listen, transformation. transformation yeah. I mean, just when you talk about it now, the smile on your face, you just can't hide it, can you? No. Presumably, you, you now feel like a new person. You are Nikki, yeah, you you've do. changed your name, you you're living a new life. Yeah. What's yeah. next for you? Uh, basically, hopefully sometime next year uh, to complete the surgery and also hopefully to continue, continue with me writing and my biography so that I can try and help other people out there saying, so, listen, you're not alone, you're not trapped, there is help out there for you. You know, and that's what hopefully I can do with the interviews. You know, I mean, people have been wonderful. Everybody's been fantastic, you know, and I just can't believe with the reactions, you know, thinking back four or five years ago, thinking, oh, God, how is everybody going to take it? Mm -hmm. um, with everybody so keen to find out more, which is great, because at the end of the day, 
we don't all of a sudden wake up one morning and say, right, I want to be a girl. Yeah. It doesn't work like that. It's there at a very, very early age. And basically, it's who I am now. You know, it's this I person. I can tell by that big smile on your face, Nick. So, Unfortunately, we're out of time, but it's been a pleasure to meet oh, you. Lovely. And hopefully, as you say, that, that by doing these interviews, there'll be people at home that yeah. can take advice yeah. and, and inspiration from you. I know it's not been easy for you, but thank you very much for coming in and telling thank your story. You Keep in touch, won't you? Yes, I will do. Thank you I very much. Do.